Brides and grooms can finally look forward to their big day. Heather Lake is in San Marcos with the best facial treatments to get wedding day ready. All oh, facials. Love it. Yeah, a good facial, right? And I can't wait to go to a wedding. Somebody's wedding, anybody, somebody get married. Um, so much fun. And I know there's a lot of pressure and stress going up to the big day that can make your skin kind of go crazy. So we're going to talk about some things you can do six months to a year leading up and then like a few days, even weeks before leading up. So this is pretty cool. We're in San Marcos at Beauty Lounge where you get all the things. You get va-va-voomed va, 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 here. And um, we're going to talk to Shonda. She's the owner and she's also doing some of the facial treatments this morning to show us what people can do. So, Shonda, you are starting to treat brides and grooms again as their weddings start to pop up. Um, obviously, weddings didn't happen for a while, but now you're starting to see them, and this is some of the stuff that they can do. What on earth are you doing to her forehead? <laughs> right. This is called microneedling with radio frequency, also called the Pixelate here at Beauty Lounge. What it does is it creates a controlled injury in the skin by driving needles into the skin. I know that sounds a little scary, but we do pre you ahead of time. You're also going to be emitting radio frequency, creating a thermal injury. This is going to stimulate your body to produce lots of its own collagen and elastin. We slow down making that as we age. That's why we get that crepey skin, fine lines and wrinkles. So this is really nice for uneven texture, acne scars, hyperpigmentation, and melasma. Okay, so you would do this, and you can keep treating her because I'm sure she wants her whole forehead treated. You would do it on her whole entire face, and this is something that, you know, maybe two months, six months out, you're going to start to see better skin, a little bit more of a glow. You're just kind of creating that more youthful look before your wedding day. Absolutely. Um, I would say no, no earlier than four to six weeks before the big day. If you could get in a little bit sooner, three to six month mark, that way we can start with a treatment plan to best address your needs would be great. Does this help with acne? A lot of people, you and I, we're both wearing these masks right now, and I will tell you what, sometimes this mask on TV has been covering some of the worst skin that I have had in a year. Right. Um, and I have seen that things like this as opposed and other things have helped to kind of just create a blank canvas again and help kind of slough off some of the skin that's been underneath the mask all year. Right, so we can't do it on active acne because we don't want to spread acne, but those leftover acne scars and hyperpigmentation as a result of the acne, this is perfect for it. Okay, awesome. How is that feeling? <laughs> does it feel okay? You feel that poke. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. You okay. feel that poke. Um, yeah. The forehead's a little bit more tender just because it's skin yeah. and bone, but we do pre-medicate beforehand for 30 minutes. So, so it's like a numbing cream that you put yes. on. Yes. Hey, um, you know, sometimes pain is beauty. Is that is that, a, is that safe to say? <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, it depends on, on what you want to look like. You know, if you want to have that glow, sometimes, you know, it takes a little something, something. So this is something that's going to be red and you're not going to want to like sweat or go out in the sun for like at least 48 hours, right? Correct. You want to avoid direct sun exposure. You're probably going to want to refrain from makeup for about three to five days, a little bit of skin shedding at the end of the week. And then underneath all that's going to be some nice glowing skin and it'll continue to look better as the weeks pass. I think sometimes it's so confusing for not only brides and grooms, but everybody because there's so many skin options and facials out there that you're like, where do I start? You know, I'm, I'm now in my 30s or whatever, and I just want to do something. Mm -hmm. I think in the other room is a really great option yes. for someone wants to start. Um, and this is kind of a good thing that you could do really any day of the week, and you just sort of get rid of all the gunk that's in your skin. What is this? Yes, this is our hydrofacial. It's our most popular hydrofacial. It's definitely a must one to two weeks before your big day. It's going to cleanse, extract, and hydrate the skin. It's perfect for people that have clogged pores, uneven skin texture, are battling acne, who just want a brighter, more radiant complexion. It's going to smooth out the skin, so you're going to have flawless makeup application, and those wedding photos are going to be picture perfect. Yeah, I think we're ready for that. We want good photos. Um, people are ready to take off the masks and show the smiles for their big day, and that is going to help. The hydrofacial, I'm all about that. When she says, like, extractions and plumping up the skin, I'm like, oh, it all sounds good to me. Anything, honestly, that I can do where I just lay down and get treated and no one's screaming and yelling at me for Play-Doh and snacks, I'm good. <laughs> High five to you, Mama. I completely agree with that. It's like, <laughs> Mama, quiet time. Shh. Uh, Heather, thank you.